Hi guys, this is Jeff at Slams Racing. And this video is about how to install a GET RX1 Pro ECU into a 17 through 19 KTM 500 or 17 through 19 Husqvarna 501. So if you want your bike to run a lot better uh, in stock form, they're extremely lean, which makes them run poor, start hard, deceleration pop, run hot, you know, a long list of problems. So this is the Get ECU, this green box right here. Your factory one is in the same uh, rubber boot right here. I can't find my stock when I took it out a couple years ago and I don't know where it is, but anyhow. So this rubber boot, it's just on these little uh, posts right here. There's one on both sides. And you can just kind of lift, lift up on it and it pops, pops right off of there. And then I'm doing this one-handed, sorry. Then this boot slides off. And there's an electrical connector right here that has, you just push on it to open it up and then it, it disconnects. So you just un, you know, remove your tank seat. I've got the side panel off here also, just so I can show you the uh, get Wi-Fi com, which I'll get to in a minute. But pull the, you don't have to pull the tank to get to this, but you do have to to put the uh, warning harness in for the get map switch. So pull the tank seat, the side panel, and that's all pretty basic stuff. If you if you're struggling with that part, well then maybe you should stop and consult uh, a professional or someone to help you. But uh, so this is like I said, this is the get ECU, and this little part right here. Sorry, I keep moving around here. This part is what's called a barrel sensor or the barometric sensor. So it can help the ECU adjust along with the, some other sensors that are in the system for elevation changes and temperature changes and uh, you know just keep it running spot on all the time. So you need to slide this boot on, kind of figure out where that piece is. You can just kind of push down and feel where it is and then carefully take a exacto knife or something and cut yourself a little hole right there which I've already done and then these just slide back on there sorry guys it's not easy to do one yeah I'll finish that up later but anyhow you get the gist of that so put the ECU in there that's a piece of cake plug it in that's easy. Then if you want to use the map switch, which is the switch right here, it's got a short harness on it that plugs into another harness that comes with it. So when you first open the box, you might think, oh my God, there's a lot of wires and goodies in here. I don't know what, the, maybe I'm in over my head, but don't, don't panic. It's really pretty simple. So here's the short harness that comes with the switch and it plugs into there. You can't plug it in wrong. It's a male and female here and a male and fe female here. Just plug it in. Then this has to run down alongside the frame and plug into the ECU. So let's go back up here. So here's the switch. I've got the wires run down in front of the triple clamp. Then down through here. Alongside all the other wires, you just zip tie them on there, running up underneath these little rubber straps here. And down through here, through this mess, and then up in, into the ECU. So the ECU's also got several connectors, and a couple of them look similar, but they're not. You cannot plug it in wrong. I mean, it's got main written on here, and it's got something else written on the other one, uh, EXP. But there's no need to even go into that because you can't plug it in wrong. The connectors will not plug in wrong. Just plug it in where they fit. The other connector is for the Wi-Fi com box, which is, let's see if I can get out of the light here. It's that box down there that has the silver label on it with the print on it. So that is a Wi-Fi unit that communicates with the ECU and it communicates with your smartphone. All you have to do is go to the App Store and for free you can download the YGET app, W-I-G-E-T. So load that up, 
put install this. I just uh, there's a flat area right where that's sitting, and I just put a glob of silicone seal on there and just squish it on there. Push push it on and squish out the silicone seal. Let it sit for a couple hours and it's good to go. Now you can Velcro it in there if you want or do it however you want, but I'm telling you that's a clean way to do it and it does not uh, come loose. I tried double-sided tape and some things like that and didn't have a lot of luck. So anyhow, that's got a connector as well. It's, it's this harness right or this wire right here and it runs up and plugs into the ECU also. So the connectors are all very easy. And you can see here, let's see here if I've got this in here right, that now my barometric sensor shows through the rubber boot. Now GET claims that you don't have to do that. They claim that there's enough clearance underneath this rubber boot to where you don't need to do that, but uh, it seemed like a pretty snug fit to me and I didn't like it. So I cut that hole in there. So you definitely don't want to lay a shop rag on here or tools or something like that underneath the seat. You want to keep this one little area here open. And let's see, other things that come in the kit. So this wiring harness comes in the kit and they say to use that to set the TPS, but you absolutely don't need that. Uh, that's more of an old school method to do it. We don't use that anymore, so that's really a useless piece of harness. And then once you have it this far along, you uh, turn on the ignition switch and this sensor, this uh, Wi-Fi com has two little LED lights on it, a green and a red. Just wait for both of those to light up. And when they do, that means you have a Wi-Fi signal and then you can connect it to your phone. Just go into the settings section of your smartphone and connect to this Wi-Fi. It's got a four digit number on it. It says Wi-Fi com and then a four digit number. Sorry, I don't, you can't see that. And then below that is a password. So that four digit number will pop up on your phone and then you have to type in that password and you should only have to do that once. And so the cool thing about this is, is this works out on the trail. It works on the top of Mount Everest. It works in your garage. It works wherever you are. It does not have to be connected to the Wi-Fi in your house or anything like that. It's its own freestanding Wi-Fi unit. And it communicates with the ECU and it communicates with your smartphone. So with that, uh, when we ship these out, there's an instruction sheet. So if, once you get to this point, you can whip out that instruction sheet, go through the steps. It takes like a minute, maybe two. And that's how you set the TPS, the throttle position sensor. So the throttle position sensor is actually on the side of the throttle body, the, the fuel injection throttle body. And it has a sensor on the side of that throttle body, and that's called the TPS. And that has to be set to match the ECU, or the bike might start hard, uh, might idle, funky, and it might be slightly down on power. So you really need to go through those steps to set that TPS. I'm telling you, it's a total piece of cake, don't panic. Um, if you don't know how to hook to the Wi-Fi, uh, I'm sure if you've got a, a young kid in the house or, or a neighbor kid, they can do it for you in about 30 seconds. Sorry guys, there's a couple things I forgot. So if you've got a lot of uh, items on your handlebar already and you're kind of running out of real estate and you don't really care about switching between maps, which by the way you can switch between maps on the fly, you know, while you're riding down the road or the trail. Uh, I usually back out of the throttle and let it kind of come down and idle, push the button and then go on. But I don't know that that's necessary. But uh, anyhow, if you don't want that switch on your handlebar, uh, I've seen guys mount them in their airbox and stuff like that. But actually, if you just if you're happy with just map number one, well, uh, then take that switch off and unplug it because it def the system defaults to map one if it's not plugged in. So that's one little thing there. The second thing I forgot to mention here is if you see these marks here on the on this uh, air filter box. Uh, on the, and there's marks right here on this side. 
That's where the seat sits. So you want to make sure that none of these wires, like this wire, is sitting out here and the seat is, will sit on it and squish it and eventually uh, damage the wires. And then another place back here, which doesn't apply to this to get, is this bolt uh, from the factory. They've usually got these angled over here, kind of in this direction. And you can see there's a mark right there and mark here, and that's where the seat rests on the subframe here. And I popped the seat off the other day of a friend's bike, and this wire was over here, and it was squished. And it was uh, already getting pretty damaged. So if you uh, lose your ground, uh, you're going to be walking home. So that's all for quick tips. So once you get to uh, get all this hardware in and you get your YGET app installed, it's a piece of cake. Just follow our instruction sheet from there. That's all for now.